The other big story, uh, Dr. Binayak Sen was released from a Chhattisgarh jail after spending four months behind bars on charges of being a Naxal sympathizer and Chhattisgarh government also having charged him with sedition last week. The Supreme Court struck down those charges saying that there just wasn't enough proof to accuse Dr. Binayak Sen of sedition. Dr. Sen walked free into the arms of his waiting family and supporters last night. Just a few moments back, he spoke to my colleague Tejas Mehta in Raipur. The first night at home. After spending the first night at home as a free man, joining us now is Dr. Binayak Sen. Sir, how was the first night as a free man finally with your family, with your mother? I was of course very glad to be home. Uh, my mother is not well, so I was very happy to have a chance to uh, have a be spend time with her and also to see what how she's feeling. So I'm feeling very good in uh, after having spent the night at home with my family. Also, how is your health? You look a little my more frail now. My health is fine. My health is fine. Okay. I have nothing wrong with me. So, what are the plans now? Are, are you going to remain in Chhattisgarh and work here? Well, actually, I just wanted to highlight this issue of the people under uh, under sedition uh, uh, who are convicted under convicted or accused under uh, under trials uh, under the laws relating to sedition, which have been brought into question in the course of my. Uh, Petition, bail petition in the Supreme Court and which have also been and the observations made by the Supreme Court on this occasion have also been strengthened by the response of Mr. Uh, the law minister Mr. Virapa Moili who has said that maybe we should we need to uh, re, uh, have a relook at the laws relating to sedition. These laws are, are holdovers from the time when India was still a colony of the British and basically this both section 121 uh, and section 124 of the Indian Penal Code are laws that the British framed in order to keep the Indian people under their sway. And uh, as free citizens of a free country, these laws are archaic and uh, in fact insulting to our uh, ideas of citizenship. And uh, so, uh, it's, uh, so this whole issue of, uh, and there are hundreds and thousands of people Hundreds of people in Chhattis, the Chhattisgarh jails and thousands of people in the jails outside Chhattisgarh who are now uh, being accused uh, of uh, uh, offences relating to sedition under the flimsiest of evidence because the, uh, because the administration has uh, taken this as a shortcut to uh, both this, uh, the laws relating to sedition as well as laws like the Chhattisgarh Special uh, Public uh, Security Act. Uh, these are taken as a shortcut to just keep people who are uh, who are incon who are make inconvenient noises. Uh, the administration uses these laws to keep them uh, to keep these people under control. Do we have any idea as to what, uh, how many number of people are languishing in jails like this? No, we don't have the idea. Uh, we we are really have to make a very uh, start right from the beginning. So we need to now look at this issue in more detail. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.